What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys a scrap dino combo video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys different two card combos that end on insane boards. I'm talking like four to five disruptions. I'm talking about scythe locking your opponent. It's just so insane. Now if you guys do enjoy make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. Deck profiles, dual videos, combo replays. Speaking of deck profiles, I did the scrap dino deck profile in yesterday's video so if you guys want to check it out i'll link it in the description but you guys can also check out the channel and while you're there make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all that Yu-Gi-Oh good stuff so with that being said i don't want to take up too much of your time i appreciate every single one of you with that let's get into some combos all right so in yesterday's video i showed you guys the scrap dino deck profile you're looking at it here but make sure you guys check out that video as well and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some really cool two card combos i'm really excited to be showing it to you guys so let's get right into them the first two card combo here is ovi raptor plus baby Sarasaurus. Now keep in mind the really cool thing about this deck is you can do this combo with baby plus misc. You can also do this combo with OV plus baby or OV plus misc. So there's three different combinations that you can do this exact same combo because they're all going to segue into the exact same point after like two to three steps in the combo. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be OV plus baby. Misc plus baby works as well. OV plus misc works as well. It doesn't really make a difference. Here we're going to start off by normal summoning our OV Raptor activating its effect to search a miscellaneous Saurus. And the reason you want to search it here is because you you obviously want to use the hand effect to make your dinos unaffected so here we're going to use the effect and then we're going to continue on to use the effect from the graveyard so we can summon an archosaur directly from our deck now archosaur is really good here of course because we're going to get to pop our baby Sarasaurus and search a double evolution pill which is going to come up in a little bit but for now we're just going to activate the baby Sarasaurus effect to summon another baby Sarasaurus from our deck to our side of the field now what we're going to do is activate our ov raptor to pop the baby Sarasaurus to summon the other one from the graveyard the really cool thing about this deck is you can just really abuse use baby Sarasaurus. Now the second baby Sarasaurus, you're going to use its effect to summon a scrap raptor directly from your deck. Okay, so at this point of the combo, you're actually going to use the scrap raptor effect to pop the baby Sarasaurus. The reason we're going to do this is because later on in your turn, you're going to want to get the extra normal summon. So that's why you're doing this. And you're also going to be able to summon another baby Sarasaurus from your deck through this combo, right? So that's why you need to be doing this because you do need the extra normal summon. So here, what you're going to do is now you're going to go into your scrap wyvern with your scrap raptor as well as your archosaur. And then you're going to activate the scrap wyvern effect to summon our scrap raptor back from the graveyard and then the card you're actually going to pop here is a scrap raptor because this is how you're going to get to search your chimera you're going to go scrap raptor as chain link one and then you're going to get to go scrap wyvern as chain link two scrap wyvern is really cool because you're going to get to summon another scrap raptor from your deck to your side of the field and now you get to pop a card and now we're going to be popping our baby sarasaurus again to summon a giant rex but we're also going to be able to search a chimera here so now because baby's activated we're going to summon our giant rex to our side of the field and now our combo is pretty much just set up. We have the Scrap Chimera in our hand, which we get the extra normal summon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Activate its effect to summon a Scrap Raptor directly back from our graveyard. All right. So now our field is like full and we can do so many different things. What we're going to do here is we're going to be able to Scythe Lock our opponent. How are we going to do that? We're going to use a Giant Rex as well as a Scrap Chimera to make our Dagda here. Then what we're going to do is preemptively, just so we have extra space on the board, we're going to make our Tornado Dragon with a Scrap Raptor as well as an Ovi Raptor. Now what you can do is you can actually activate your double evolution pill and the really cool thing is because you're activating card on the field dagda is going to get to trigger we're going to banish our rex as well as our scrap chimera and we're also going to get to trigger our dagda to get scythe to our side of the field all right so we're going to set our scythe right here we're going to be able to summon our conductor here with the double evolution pill and then giant rex is actually going to summon itself back onto the field which is insane by the way i've been like really monotone i think this whole combo because i've been trying to explain how to do the combo but this is where it gets nuts here right so now we can actually just make an apple with two negates on it and then we have a giant rex and our scrap raptor still on the field so we can go into a boral load savage dragon so now we're going to activate the savage effect we're going to get to equip one of the link twos we have wyvern is better just because it has higher attack points and boom this is our end board all right look at this end board right now our end board consists of two negates on apollo we have boral load savage negate so that's three disruptions we have the ultimate conductor tyranno which book of moons our opponent's entire board so that's four Four disruptions right there we have tornado dragon which is kind of nice because if we have to deal with mystic mind we have tornado dragon but the really cool thing about tornado dragon is on our opponent's turn we can activate it to actually pop the scythe and then scythe is gonna lock our opponent out of their extra deck so just on this board we have four disruptions 
plus a scythe lock that's insane and this is just a two card combo with ovi raptor and baby and again you can do this combo with misc plus baby misc plus ovi it's just so nuts i know this combo was kind of long i was just trying to explain exactly what you guys needed to do for this combo but like this is insane so scythe locking your opponent four disruptions that's insane now just quickly for anyone who's wondering how to do this combo with misc plus baby or the other variations i'm gonna actually just start it off for you guys to see exactly how we get to the same point and then i'm not going to show you guys the rest of the combo because the rest of the combo is going to be the same i just want to show you guys how you guys can do it right so we're going to activate the misc effect here if we're starting with misc plus baby you're going to activate the misc effect activate its effect to get into an archosaur here you're going to get to pop the baby and then you get to search the double evolution pill now baby in this case is not going to be summoning another baby you're going to be summoning the ov raptor right because now ov raptor gets to search the missing piece in this case the missing piece is baby cerasaurus we still haven't used our normal summon yet so now we get to normal summon our baby cerasaurus and now we get the ov raptor effect to pop the baby to summon the other one from the deck and then now it's the exact same combo as you guys saw before we get to summon our scrap raptor and then boom you have the same exact board with two different cards in hand and like i said earlier you can do it with misc plus ov the only difference here is ov instead of searching the misc you're going to search the baby cerasaurus to your hand that's really the only difference right so now we're going to search the baby add it to our hand we're going to use the misc effect directly from our hand and then we're going to get to an arco arco is going to pop the baby and then boom it's the exact same combo so i just wanted to show you guys that with all of these different hand combinations you get to the exact same combo route which is really nice because you're going to scythe lock your opponent and have four disruptions on your side of the field so let's say you don't open one of those two card variations that i showed you guys earlier let's say you open your archosaur with a baby instead what can you do with this hand well what you're going to want to do is you're going to normal summon your archosaur you're going to activate its effect of course to pop the baby cerasaurus the really cool thing is as long as you're getting to destroy the baby cerasaurus there's a lot of different combos you guys can do so here what you're going to do of course is you're going to special your ov raptor with your baby effect and then you're going to get to use the ov raptor effect here of course now because you've already used your normal summon you can't actually just search a baby and summon another baby kind of unfortunate here but i want to show you guys with hands like these ones where you don't open the most optimally or you don't open the most broken hand what you guys can still do so at this point you're going to use the ov effect to actually add a miscellaneous source from your deck to your hand and the reason you're going to want it to add it to your hand is now so you can use its effect of course so you're going to activate it then just before you use the miscellaneous effect you're actually going to link your archosaur off into a link karibo and the reason you're doing that is because you actually get an extra dino in your graveyard which is really important for this combo because now what you're going to do is you're going to use a miscellaneous effect and then you're going to get to banish two you're not going to banish for one you're going to banish for two itself as well as the archosaur so that you can summon another baby to your side of the field now what do you have a baby on your field and a baby in your graveyard so you can activate the Oviraptor raptor effect pop the baby cerasaurus to summon the other one from your graveyard to your side of the field and then baby is going to activate here which is really nice and here we're going to go straight for our scrap raptor so here you can still full combo like you guys can see even with an archosaur and a baby which isn't the best hand you can still combo the problem with this hand is just it's a little bit more susceptible however you still have really cool combos with this kind of board so here what you're going to do is you're going to activate the scrap raptor to pop the baby on your side of the field just so you can actually get the extra normal summon later on in the turn but here we're going to activate the baby cerasaurus that was just popped to summon another baby cerasaurus to our side of the field now what we can do is of course link into our scrap wyvern which is going to use the raptor as well as the link karibo and then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the scrap wyvern effect summon back a scrap raptor then you're going to get to pop the scrap raptor and that's going to trigger both your raptor as well as your wyvern which is really nice here so you're going to activate the wyvern here as well wyvern is going to get to summon another raptor to your side of the field and then we're going to have to pop a card on our side of the field which is going to be our baby cerasaurus raptor is going to resolve to search our chimera to our hand we get an extra normal summon now so keep that in mind but baby is going to get to trigger here and summon out a giant rex so once giant rex is on our board we do have an extra normal summon here so we're going to use the chimera summon it and then now we kind of have the same exact board that we had earlier right we have five monsters on our side of the field as well as the scrap wyvern and then we go back into that full combo that i showed you guys where here we can go into degda like it's just so insane that so many different two card combos are just gonna do the exact same thing which is just nuts to me you can use these two now into your tornado dragon funny enough though if you actually didn't want to go for a scythe play i'm just going to mention it i think the scythe play is the best play of course and especially in today's format being able to scythe lock your opponent but if you're not going for the scythe play you can actually just make ip mascarena here instead and then now you can have an apollo that's protected with an ip mascarena that's kind of cool but here we're going to go for dagda of course just to make space we're going to go into our tornado dragon right away over here which is really really nice so we're going to make tornado dragon 
We're going to activate a double evolution pill. You guys have seen this before, right? So we're going to banish this as well as, I guess, our Link Karibo. It could be our Scrap Chimera. It doesn't really matter what you banish at this point. To summon our Conductor. And then we're going to be able to summon back our Giant Rex to our side of the field here, which is really nice. And we're going to actually go for Apple before we go into our Borrowed Savage Dragon so that we have a nice Link Monster target for our Savage Dragon. So here, what you're going to do now is you're just going to go into Savage with this and this. And then now, boom, you still have all these different disruptions. I also just noticed that I completely forgot to activate Dagda effect, which is my bad. I probably should have done that because now we don't have a Scythe on our side of the board. But you'll have a Scythe here, okay? I'm sorry, I, I misclicked. But you, you guys can see where the combo is, right? We have the Scythe lock. By the way, just before we end the video off, as you guys saw with all those two card combos, at some point in the combo, you get to this board, right? And every single time I've showed it to you guys, it's been going into Dagda to get to Scythe so that we can Scythe lock our opponent. But let's say we're playing against a back row heavy deck, a deck that's not really going to be special summoning from the extra deck that much, or maybe something like Flunderies, which is very relevant in today's format. What can you do instead? Because in those situations, Scythe may not be the best option. So in that case, what you can do is you still have access to a lot of rank four monsters with this deck, right? So what you can do here instead is if you're not going to the scythe lock play is first off just straight up go into something like a dweller because you have rank fours you have your logia and your dolka that you can go into so let's say you're going up against flunderies one of the most prominent decks in today's format if you're not playing against something like tier limits then what you can do is you can actually just go into dolka using your ov raptor as well as your scrap raptor here so now you're gonna have a dolka on the board which is insane because two monster effect negations is insane against something like flunderies again you still have access to a lot of cards here what you can do is you can actually just make a three material Appaloosa here with the giant Rex, the Chimera, and the Wyvern, because what ends up happening is once you use these, let's say, you make an Apple with three monster negates, then you can use your double evolution pill. Your pill is going to get to summon either a Conductor Tyranno, which is really good, but you can also summon Pancratops against some matchups. Maybe Pancratops against some back row matchups are better than your Tyranno. In this case, let's just go for Tyranno, right? And then what ends up happening is giant Rex will get to summon itself back, so then you're going to get to have access to something like a Savage Dragon still here if you guys want to go for an Omni negate, but let's just say here in this case you don't want to go for a Savage Dragon, you want to have some graveyard hate, right? Let's just say you're playing against a deck that uses graveyard a lot. I'm just giving you guys different options, right? It doesn't have to be this exact same board. I'm just showing you guys different things you can do. So if you don't want to go Savage, you can go Dweller. If you're playing against, like I said earlier, a back row heavy deck, you can go Tornado Dragon, you can go Logia, which negates spells and trap cards. So there's just a lot of options. Like here, let's just go Dweller. It doesn't really matter what you go into. I'm just showing you guys that you don't have to go into the Scythe Lock play all the time. It's just there's a lot of rank four tools box monsters that you can go into with this deck plus you're still ending on a ton of disruptions dolka has two monster negates you have three more monster negates with apo so right there is five disruptions you have your conductor tyranno which is a sixth and then you have dweller which is essentially a seventh but you're also going to be shutting them out, out of their graveyard completely right so this is seven disruptions right here right you don't have to go for the scythe play the scythe play is just the most prominent one that you might be going into however like i said you might be going to exorcist matchup or you might be going into a flunderies matchup or an eldritch matchup and then sometimes you know against those matchups this board is just better there are times you might not even need the apple you might just make an ip masquerade for another form of disruption just different options for you guys it doesn't always have to be the scythe play so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that was some two card combos in dino that you can do the thing is with this deck is that's so really nice is the fact that you can open different two card combos and end on these insane boards it doesn't really matter which two cards you open because it's all gonna get you to where you need to get to which is just insane so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu -Gi -Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel like i said earlier in the video there's already the deck profile on the channel so if you guys want to check it out it was yesterday's video so you guys can check that out also if you guys want to check out other Yu Gi Oh content we do all of it on the channel we do product openings combo videos dual replays all that good stuff so you'll see it right here make sure you guys subscribe to tune in for all that thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that spanko signing out peace